My name is Deborah Bordeaux. This presentation will discuss annotated bibliographies. An annotated bibliography is an excellent research tool. It allows you to not only find sources, but also to summarize and evaluate them for use in your research efforts. Collecting your evidence and seriously considering its potential place in your own work can help you to truly begin to determine how you can insert yourself into the conversation of research. In order to find sources for your annotated bibliography, make sure you review the instructor's specific requirements for the assignment. In Research 202, you are usually instructed to find 10 total sources, including one book, four articles from the Hunt Library databases, and at least two scholarly articles. Make sure you avoid Wikipedia for this and any other academic assignment. While there can be useful information in a Wikipedia article, the quality of most articles cannot be verified sufficiently for formal research. The annotated bibliography itself will have three main components. First, the entry itself, which must be in APA format. Second, a short summary of the article or source in one to three sentences. And third, an evaluation of the credibility, reliability, and possible biases of your source. Make sure you also address whether you believe that the source can be used in your paper. It is okay if you don't think it's useful, just say why. Remember that summarizing and evaluating are two distinct processes. Summary involves telling the reader simply what is there. It is a concise recounting of the information in the article. Evaluating involves making a judgment about the value of the article. You want to make sure your instructor can clearly tell the difference between the summary and evaluation aspects of your annotated bibliography. It is not necessary to label each, but it should be clear that you understand the distinction. Using the Hunt Library to search for your evidence will yield the best results. Remember that you can now search using Eagle Search directly from the Hunt Library's main page. Once you have your initial search results, you can specify full text articles only if you wish. You can also specify content type journal articles only, for example. This feature can be very useful in helping you meet the source type requirements for your assignment. Now I will walk you through a quick search of the Hunt Library. First, from the home page, use Eagle Search to create your initial search. Then you can limit your search appropriately. I always limit to full text articles. You may also want to limit content type. I have highlighted journal articles here. This can help you to meet source type requirements. This is a journal article. Note that you can often access a PDF version of the article and sometimes even save it to your computer for future use. Some databases will include a feature that cites the article in various documentation types, including APA. You can typically find all of the information you need, however, from the sidebar. When you find a source you like, create the bibliographic entry using APA format. As I mentioned, some of the databases have a feature that will create this bibliographic entry for you. This is extremely useful, but it is not always entirely correct. So make sure you verify all entries against your APA guide. Here is a page from the Purdue Online Writing Lab, or OWL. Notice that I found the sample by clicking on the source type, Articles in Periodicals. Simply follow the example here, but make sure you note any specifics regarding capitalization and punctuation of titles. Because you will likely be using many of these sources again, and because APA formatting is a component of your grade, it is important to make sure you get it right in the annotated bibliography. Use your APA manual or other resources such as Eaglet or the Purdue OWL to help you. Remember that APA has unique ways of capitalizing journal article and book titles. Pay attention to what should be in italics specifically. 
When you are ready to create the entry for your bibliography, alphabetize sources by the author's last name. If there is no author and you are using the title to begin your entry, you will also place that in the correct place alphabetically in your list. Make sure you are using good quality sources that are current. One of the most frequent comments on the annotated bibliographies is the age of the sources. Another is their quality. Finding journals is ideal. Here is a sample entry. This entry is for a book. Notice how the book title is capitalized and italicized. The summary is very brief, in this case just one sentence. The evaluation speaks in general to the source's credibility, but ultimately comes to the conclusion that the source is of limited use in this project. That is certainly a reasonable conclusion. Do not feel like you must love every source. As a reminder, you do not have to label the summary and evaluation as seen here unless specifically directed by your instructor. The next source is from an academic journal. Again, note the capitalization and punctuation, this time of both the journal article and then of the journal itself. Only the first word, proper nouns, and words after a colon are capitalized in a journal article title. The journal title is capitalized and italicized as you see here. Note also that the second and following lines of APA reference page entries are indented as you see here. Again, the summary is concise and the evaluation speaks to the overall value of the research and the applicability to the author's own work. I hope this presentation has provided some helpful information on how to research and write your annotated bibliography. Good luck on the assignment and in the class.